The Estevan football fundraising dinner was a huge success this year as people packed the Estevan Curling Club to support a great cause and to hear from some entertaining speakers. The group brought in current Saskatchewan Rough Rider Brendan Labatt, former rider great Don Narcisse, and TSN anchor Jay Onright. It hasn't been that long since Onright was in Estevan, but he was happy to come back. Now it's weird because I've never done a stop in the craft tour and then come back to the town less than a year later. Um, so that just shows you how much I, I enjoyed the town. Um, when Wanda Heron called and asked me to come speak, uh, there was no hesitation on my part. I, I really enjoyed myself here. Um, I thought our show here was the best show that we've done in the three years on the tour. Uh, the crowd was just amazing. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, it was, it was a no-brainer for me to come back up. And I'm thrilled to meet uh, Brendan, and I'm thrilled to meet Don Narcisse, too. He's a player I watched all my life growing up, so it's a real treat for me. I, uh, I have a, a cousin here tonight at the dinner, um, so that's pretty exciting uh, that I haven't seen in a long time. And, uh, yeah, I love to, you know, I've got my grandfather lives in Balcaris, and I try to see him as much as I possibly can. And just Saskatchewan feels like home to me, so, um, so I'm always happy to come back here. Yeah. For Narcisse, it was his first visit to Estevan, but he was just as glad to be here. I'm sorry, it, it's just a pleasure to be back in uh, Saskatchewan. You know, I got a chance to play for 13 years, and uh, the one thing that I like to do is just give back to the community, because without them, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. But to come to Estevan, this is my first time coming to Estevan. I'm telling you what, man. I enjoy coming to the small places because they care so much. But uh, you know, I've been a Saskatchewan Rough Rider for life, so this is what it's all about. Yeah. Is it? Onright was able to keep the crowd laughing almost the entire way through his 30-minute speech, and he was able to do it with lots of local content. Time to go over the itinerary for the evening. Everyone ready? After I finish my speech, our first bar stop will be the Grasshopper where Wanda has promised to drink seven Jager bombs in 23 minutes. I think we'll all need to come down after that, especially Wanda. So our next stop will be a quiet drink at BP's Lounge. But after a while, Dave Heron will get tired of signing autographs. So then it's a short walk to the beef, isn't it? There's a good chance that we'll all get in a fight at the beef. <laughs> I think we've all been in one, right, at the beef? O'Toole was in a fight there this last summer. I'm like, get off him, he's like a child. <laughs> he's so small and delicate. So, after we patch ourselves up, we're heading to Ibby's. That's where we'll be among friends. <laughs> so, then we'll take our new friends to the Derrick for karaoke. <laughs> at this point, I will be so drunk, I will insist on riding donkeys at Val and Bill Paulson's acreage. <laughs> and then it's off to the tap for a round of trash cans. Not only did everyone in attendance have a great time, but it was also the largest crowd that Estevan football has hosted at any event. For EstevanMercury.ca, I'm Reese Kelso.